Hello Internet, I am John. So earlier this week, the Stellaris 3.11 patch dropped and it brought with it big nerfs to research uh, from all angles. So researcher base output uh, was reduced by 25%. Um, empire size now increases tech costs at the same rate that it increases tradition costs. Uh, tech costs were, have increased um, in a way that scales up with tech tier and with difficulty and um, some some stuff that used to give bonuses to like researcher output now also increases their job upkeep. So tech rushing now seems like it's probably in a pretty weak place. But something I'm curious to experiment with because I've never really used it before is the steel technology operation. So that's kind of what I've designed this empire to do. I haven't tested it at all yet. Um, and so so we're going the, the main thing here Imperial fiefdom. Um, guarantees that we spawn near and on friendly terms with an empire that starts with tier 3 tech and like gateway activation and a bunch of um, fairly fairly advanced stuff. Uh, so if we can get our code breaking up to the point where we can steal their technology, um, that should help pull us along pretty well, I, I think. Uh, and then machine intelligence. I enjoy machine intelligences. This will be something a little different as far as how I use it. Um, one deviation from my norm here is static research analysis. Uh, so one, it gives us more code breaking, and two, research alternatives I think will be helpful um, because now if techs take like twice as long to research for the same amount of investment, uh, getting stuck researching with, with getting stuck with three bad options and having to choose something that isn't useful to you is twice as bad as it was before. You're stuck researching something bad for longer. Um, so I think having research alternatives may be helpful. Um, and then the code breaking obviously is also quite nice. Uh, and then as far as my, the, the one other thing I did is that my like central node, I took the, um, the spycraft thing that gives infiltration speed and operation cost. Now it's probably gonna take a while before we get the code breaking to um, like to actually go steal tech from our overlord. So I don't, I, I, and we probably won't go subterfuge first. That seems like it might be a little crazy. Uh, we'll probably do like unyielding first and then just for uh, star base economy uh, and then maybe start thinking about subterfuge. Um, really it should, subterfuge should open up a bit once the fiefdom like overlord breaks up and then we have multiple empires with tier three tech that we can spy on. But uh, yeah, so as far as Game settings, I'm going large galaxy, um, standard AI, and ad usually I turn advanced empires off. I'm interested to see if this gives me more people to spy on and steal text from in the mid game. Um, we're, we're leaving the, so here's, there's the new, where is it? There's a setting now for like tech cost scaling. So one, they separated tech and tradition costs. So if you just want to speed up tech back to old levels, you can turn this to like three quarters and then turn the tech scaling there's a there's a new toggle somewhere I think I thought there was yeah difficulty adjusted tech costs so this affects how much like difficulty and tier scale your tech costs um, we'll turn up to Ensign we'll leave like the stock dates on because we're gonna need more time to research techs uh, but yeah so that's that's what we're doing here I've only ever played Go uh, Bulwark, probably, so you get raw resource subsidies. Um, and then the other thing we want to do is, like, cut off this side, probably. Is this our overlord? He's just, just got one system. That's interesting. Maybe it'll, it'll open up when we unpause. But, yeah, I, I definitely want to, like, expand, well, or this way. I don't know. But we definitely want to make sure that we have enough room to grow. And granted, playing as a machine, we don't need that much room. Um, particularly if we go habitats mid-game. Uh, we could get away with having not that many systems. But we definitely get these two worlds. Those are guaranteed 18 and 25. Pretty good. Uh, 25 alpine. Um, so we could use it for minerals and industry for a while if we wanted to. But uh, yeah, I think we want to survey this way first. Uh, Archaeology guy, not the best. Um, 
These are all okay. I think, yeah, I think we better do economy first. We don't really need to plan for early warfare if we have an overlord who is more, is this like a capital? We don't have the, um, size 17, it's kind of good. I guess it could be a capital, it's so mixed. I've never, this is very strange. Um, but yeah, so I will do, that's passive, I don't have to build it. What does my capital look like? And it boosts uh, star-based economy. That's a good, oh god, 114 months. <laughs> so bioreactors have also changed. I question the justification for these changes. Um, I, oh, and then I plan like, dear god. Um, so before bioreactors, I only ever used them playing machines to turn like star-based economy food into energy. And now they just make farmers turn like they reduce farmer food output and turn it into energy so i don't know why you would want this um so that for example is uh, a tech that i would rather have not drawn um we can do fleet cap by or net yeah we can do we can do one of these that one's cheaper but i don't can't use it without naval camp so and this has gone up i think it used to be plus 20 they said they rebalanced some of these numbers a little bit um, carrier operations, yeah, we'll do that. 147, yeah, it's so long now. Oh, we have a spark of genius on our cancel, that's nice. Um, yeah, cool. Finally, it, it's neat to, to get a cognitive node that actually has a science thing for once. Um, pop assembly speed, edicts fun, that's not the best. Uh, and ship weapons damage, okay. Um, right, so we have the amenities agenda. Yeah, that's okay. Um, we do probably want... Right, yeah. Not playing Void Dwellers. I'm not playing Void Hive. I do need to actually build uh, build stuff in my starting system manually. No. What? Yeah. Anything else I need to take care of before the unpause? Okay, so I guess we'll meet all of them when the unpause happens. Um, and we'll get the choice to go uh, bulwark. Archaeology, regen? That's not bad. Oh yeah, we should, we should set uh, him up to scout as well. Um, as I blunder him into a void cloud again. Yeah, okay. Um, we, we would like them, does, do bulwarks take tech penalties? I f don't remember. But yeah, I mean, getting, getting destroyers tech would be nice. Technological acquisition successful. Communications alert. Okay, so we get some... I have like zero intel on anybody. This is super weird. Um... I don't... Yeah, we can do that and... Uh... You know, it'll, okay, so we're, they're strong alert to us. So we, if we pick up, um, I think the subterfuge gives us like plus one code breaking, and then if we can pick up like one code breaking tech, um, that should bring us up to parity. Open borders from, who are you people? Where are you people? Oh, oh, this is amazing. So our overlord has a wormhole down here somewhere and has this like outpost through the wormhole. Um, so depending on where exactly their wormhole is, 
are some of these other subjects might not be able to like and if they don't have wormhole tech can they even jump through it that's this is a weird situation communications alert so we got materialists materialists oh today is a good day to be a machine are they all i know there was one one more that i missed Okay, so, so the, our overlords are materialists. Those guys are... These guys are... Okay, so we have some fanatic spiritualists in here. But it's mostly in... Okay, in, all right. So it's like 50-50. I'm really curious to... See if like there's if we can take the one more mining station. Okay, we have some more minerals. Let's build um, the other one. Gonna be a little while on pop assembly. Um, Three hundred for that. Probably worth. We're gonna want a bunch of energy and a bunch of influence to do spying. Construction complete. Um, I probably want another. Yeah, I almost certainly want another scientist. How much will it could cost me? Archaeology, anomaly discovery. Yeah, I think anomaly discovery is is better for us. Our unity situation could be better because we don't usually run the thing that gives me to show successful unity. Okay, so we got FTL inhibitors for free. That's great. That's a tech I wanted. Um, what does this do for us? Okay, so we take raw resource production penalties. Okay, these are not bad. I mean, the, the raw resource, you know, not, not the best, but uh, it could be much worse. And they are building a holding on us. Okay, who's... That's that's the Jirenshu, so that's our overlord. Um, we got an ocean world, cool. Uh, we have enough unity for a scientist. And we'll take the, uh, the anomaly guy. The archaeologist... I hadn't seen this trait before. Um, or, or maybe it change names excavation speed archaeology skill oh that's so that's kind of annoying um, to have like two different traits that both interact with archaeology okay so they built a garrison Steven Z minus 10 happiness penalty I don't have happiness. Okay. We do have a build speed bonus here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not spending my resources as well. Um. Okay, it's a gateway. So other people can come through here. Can I use the gateway? Maybe I need to get, is there like an event that pops from seeing the gateway? It should have already fired though, right? Huh. It's a derelict. Oh, wild. Okay, so there's no, ain't no cavalry coming through that gateway. Um, so this is, this is all us. Plus like whatever we meet out this way. So that changes things a lot. Um, so we can't really count on our overlord for backup. Our overlord can't count on us for backup. This is such a... I didn't realize this could spawn like this. Um, I guess they could expand at us here, but they would need a science ship to survey it. They might have a shipyard there. I can't really tell. 
can you tell from looking at the like starbase model? I don't know. Um, hopefully, hopefully they don't try to expand out into our the space that we want. Um, so go in one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. So we'll we'll survey this way um, to try to block. We do want it's not a big habitable, but it is habitable. And we are machines, so we will want it. Um, this looks like it might go there. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, let's. I want to see if this just is an end, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to have space for detox. Um, we could actually, we could use the destroyers. What's the little... Yeah, they changed the outliner too. This is kind of neat. So like now I can switch between... Um, I, I'm going to need to learn the hotkeys. But control W, control Q, okay. Um, Okay, so nothing, nothing horrible there. System survey Good. complete. Not much of a system. I know that we need to like hold on to influence, so that we can keep them from changing our contract. But uh. Council agenda ready. And then we'll take the unity one, because our unity is not not great. Um, we could transfer the Admiral here, and then send him out this way, put him, and move the Corvettes, I don't know, maybe we'll just send him home, it's fine. Did they bring the gateway back online? Is it no longer derelict? What if we send the Corvettes there now? Okay, so we don't need this many maintenance drones, and we don't even get unity from them, so um, we probably don't need the Hunter Seeker, although it does produce some unity. Uh, as far as... We're going to want more allies, uh, alloys, excuse me, obviously. We are going to want to switch to simulation site, um, again, to free up some pops. How does our... Okay, so we lose. We lose 20%, and then we get back 30% as subsidies. Interesting. superior okay but they are next to the gateway so if the gateway like is actually operable then we could definitely see some colonization out this way um science ship so there i guess if we wanted to hurry this way we could do we could leapfrog them how many aid orders yeah Okay, complete. so that's a dead end. A lot of stuff there. Um, so if we can, like, block off... Uh, so here's a choke. There's a choke. Here's a choke. Something like that. So we can we can go... We can do three. Um, I would like... I, you know, I would like more space than that. Um, I probably want to switch him back to the Corvettes, actually, because they're faster if I want to use them to scout. Um, what was that notification? Okay. I still have pop more more amenities than I need, so I should be building something here. Um, how much do I need to clear the? Uh... Oh, 
Oh, right. I, man, I play so much resource consolidation that I forget that you don't just, like, always get the, um... I like the blocked replicator bay. So, but we, we have the assembly plan, so this is as much pop assembly as we're going to get for a while. Um... But we could, we could support more tech. We could support a simulation site. Uh... We got a ways to go on these techs. I think we do that. We are not going to have enough alloys to build more stations, though, either. We can buy alloys, though. We can't buy tech. Not just, like, you know, go press the market button for it. Construction. Complete. You know, his ships are no longer here that I can see. So maybe there is... Uh, maybe, maybe he can use the gateway and I can't. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. He's, he's sending out construction ships. Oh, no! Yeah, what else would you be doing here? So he's expanding into our space. That's not good. Um, and we don't have the influence and allies to stop him. Hmm. Not much we can do about that. I'm still curious if we can use the gateway. No. Okay, so we... All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, if he's doing that, I'm not gonna spend my time surveying somewhere that he's already outposting. How much do I need to build an outpost? Not surveyed. Okay. One thirty-five. That doesn't tell me what the influence cost is. I mean, we have enough though. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll want more alloys after these labs come up. I think that'll be our next next build. How much for a colony ship? Four hundred. That's a fair bit. Situation log. Adjusted. First league, not great for us. Um, as machines, I have no use. I mean, a relic world isn't bad, but I can't like Echinopolis, uh, and I don't remember if the artifact does us any good. Traditions. I think. Yeah, I don't think we do um, subterfuge first. Alright, so code breaking plus one, operation skill plus two, code breaking plus one. So we, we ultimately get two points of code breaking and two points of operation skill here. Um, so that would get us closer to uh, equaling their encryption. Um, yeah, I think I think we probably do on yielding for starbase economy. Expansion is also tempting for the influence cost. Domination is tempting now because they added. So there, there have been a number of uh, changes to traditions this patch. Um, diplomacy finisher now like boosts federation experience gain, which is kind of wild. Uh, domination ha the the um, the void dweller habitat upkeep reduction got moved to expansion and now everybody gets it for expansion uh and domination instead got like slave output or for gestalt's pop amenities use reduction and that's a lot um and domination was already already had some decent stuff like empire size from districts and influence um so and menial drone output's not terrible uh so domination is, is seems pretty decent for gestalt right now um, Prosperity took a nerf, I think. Yeah, so like the, the, 
the finisher for it used to be like plus five percent output to jobs maybe and now it's station upkeep which is much less important um but that was the only thing it that changed with it i don't think anything else changed with expansion yeah um supremacy took some nerfs uh so they removed the ship upkeep and build cost reductions. Oh no, up you still here. That's cool. Um, yeah, I was gonna say like the even if they had removed both, I think supremacy would still be worth taking. So, getting the upkeep reduction back is nice. You know, something I was gonna use anyway. Um, I think synchronicities like pop, like Psy empire size from pops got boosted to fifteen percent. Supposedly that was true for domination as well, but I don't see it so I don't know if it's not for gestalts or something um, and then versatility had a bunch of changes so now it boosts pop assembly in a couple different ways and uh, it, it increases unity production currently it says bureaucrats but it, supposedly it works for uh, one of the unity production types and it got an amenities usage reduction as well so between versatility and domination we could get minus 25% um, amenities used from pops, and then we've got uh, charismatic or emotion emulators or whatever, um, and that you, you put that all together, and that's a lot of stuff freeing up uh, amenities drones, um, and then maybe even you do the uh, I think there's an orbital ring building that boosts amenities output or something, so. I'm kind of curious, as far as my tradition plan, I'm thinking I want unyielding for Starbase Economy. I want eventually um, versatility, synthetics, supremacy, probably still prosperity, subterfuge, and domination. I think that's seven. So this means we're skipping expansion, which generally I like, um, and the imprecise from planets is quite nice for machines. Uh, we're probably skipping politics, which could be dangerous for us later in the game if we're trying to stop spiritualists. I was kind of tempted to do Enmity, because I've never played it before. Um, enmity? Should it be Enmity? I feel like that might just be bespelled. They're consistent with it, though. Um, my thought here was that if we're doing a lot of spying, we're going to want a bunch of energy and influence. And we could get a bunch of energy, well, and, and Humiliation Wars and Rivalry uh, could be a path to that for us, where, um, one, having lots of rivals gives you more influence. Two, fighting Humiliation Wars and winning them gives you influence. And then three, Humiliation War seems like a decent CB to use with, like, Nihilistic Acquisition to steal pops to sell on the slave market for lots of energy. So I, I kind of want to play with Enmity, but I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, and, and in particular, in a game with lots of advanced AI starts, um, Enmity's bonuses might stay relevant for longer versus pulling ahead quickly and then having no valid rivals besides Fallen Empires, who you can't really like sustain. Uh, I, I like, I think this is a really funny bonus, the uh, diplomatic weight when opposing resolutions. That's, it, it just sounds, um, like something that machines would want to use to stop spiritualist stop spiritualist resolutions, but it's probably not good as not as good as like just having a bigger fleet and a bigger economy and more tech and vassals who vote for you. Um, Two percent increased research points and unity output per rival for ten years after winning a humiliation war. It's I don't know. It's it's interesting. Um, given our, our position in the galaxy, kind of out here on the rim, isolated from all these guys, uh, I don't know. Um, we don't know what we're going to run into out here, uh, which is probably also an argument for unyielding. Um, so if we lose this, where... So here, here's a choke point, and then we want, like, these two, maybe, to stop them growing this way? Um, I'm. It's really sad that they're not expanding away from us and they're expanding towards us. 
This is, this is our overload, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. 82%. Rip. Well, we'll see how much of our space they take. Maybe I should just be content to um, make sure we get the habitables. But uh, they, that could be bad if they just completely choke us out. Um, and then watch, we'll get we'll get lucky, and this will t all turn into like a purifier or something. That'd be pretty funny. This could turn out to be a short run, but um, yeah. I'm oh, right, not surveyed yet. 19 orders. Okay, but that's just a couple within the system. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take it. It stops them from jumping over us, uh, jumping this way. Uh, yeah. I'm not thrilled about it, but I think that's what we gotta do. And it gives us potentially the opportunity, but they'll just jump over that. Remnants? Okay, right, precursor. Another toxic terraforming candidate. You know, if we get desperate for planets, um, we could use the influence from first contact, friendly first contacts. Uh, Adamir. Do, do toxic terraforming candidates show up in the expansion planner? No. Because we don't have to. Know. So, I mean, we'll just have to kind of remember. One of them was here, wasn't it? No? Maybe? Hmm. That was just a regular terraforming candidate. That one's toxic. Okay. Hmm. Where are you going, construction ship? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, he's building building stuff. Alright. Could be worse. Um You're still you're slow. Get you up here. Not done yet. Okay, so we have we have two research up. Um, right, I was going to do unyielding. We still have, um, still have amenities to burn. I do want to turn this into a, uh, simulation site fairly soon. I think maybe we need the alloys first, though. Now they have two construction ships. Oh no, it's a science ship. Is it? That's one of ours, okay. System survey complete. Okay, there's a habitable. Um, it might also almost be worth leaving a ship here just to keep an eye on them and see when they start moving out. What? Uh, what's their species? What's your deal? Gaia world preference. That's rough, buddy. Okay, so we're our infiltration level's capped. We can't do anything yet. Maybe it's worth moving him over to. Uh... Is this one also a um, derelict gateway? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Um, right, so so should we be um, making friends with any of these guys? Phonetic Nultra Spiritualists, Megacorp, Okay. 
These guys could be good friends. We like we like authority as machines. Authoritarian. Uh, Well, how are they technology overwhelming already? Huh. Well, that's a little concerning. Maybe we'll still tech from them too eventually. We'll see. Construction complete. Okay, so they have two construction ships now. Um, yeah, like these two or these two. Either of those makes us safe. What's quick here? Do we we don't have the influence and in allies to do another outpost yet anyway. System survey complete. Not bad. Construction complete. Three influence? We'll get that pretty quick. And it'll make it quicker, or it'll make it more expensive for them to jump over us. They may still do it, but they'll think about it first. Um, that's one of the other vassals, I think. Yeah. Uh, so it's not the overlord spending... I guess we have so little intel, though, that we don't really get to see much unless they, um... Sure, okay, okay, um. I don't think we have full sensor view. Sure, okay, okay, um. Maybe we do. I feel like full sensor usually gives you more than that. Yeah, we... we hmm. Hmm. What are they... Are they colonizing the world that has 0% habitability for them? Is it... Oh, the robot colonies. Robot colonies. Interesting. Okay, so now... Um, yeah, we can do the uplink node upgrade. Construction complete. Okay, so we might, maybe, maybe they won't jump us. Maybe we'll be, maybe we'll get away with it. Um, yeah, that was uh, not the best. Should have kept looking out here. And then this side too, since we've, this one we've, is definitely we've cut off, so. Should keep looking there. Um, yeah, so we're not really doing much with star bases yet. Just unity. You know, don't capitals give defense armies now? Huh. So that's just like... It's like an extra couple points a unity a month. Not, not terrible. Um, but yeah, getting the reduced... Uh, the, the upgrade cost reduction would help us kind of get that up and running. 
Construction complete. It's gonna be a little while on this. Uh, one, one under. Did, is that? I mean, I guess it pays for itself in a couple years. This looks like a, a fairly normal cluster geometry. I'm wondering if I should be building uh, more fleet for power projection. We still have not gotten any new... Ooh. Two habitables, that'd be nice. So we, we allocated two more calculators, but our tech only went up like 20 points. Yeah, 24 points. That's rough. Construction complete. I want to have him there to do that when... Um, when the survey finishes. <laughs> Just in case it turns into a race. So we did the upgrade. Uh, what else should we be doing here? Um, I mean, extra tech wouldn't be bad. We have the energy to spend. Uh, probably the more important thing would be buying a bunch of alloys to colony ship um, how much can we yes yeah, so we have like 5k we could you know 250 is not that much but that gives us enough to build an outpost plus a colony ship I think districts here are kind of crap it's a pity. Um, what, are there any, any inch? Okay, and these are all just max districts blockers, so that's good at least. Um, 180, yeah, that's definitely enough. I don't really want the anomaly discovery guy surveying systems with habitables because we could end up with an anomaly on the habitable and then not be able to settle it. Okay, so nothing, no surprises there. I am curious if this links out or if it's a dead end um, because then we could just pop up here and have full control. I, I suspect it's not, right? It's This is a ovoid. Um, I'd be a little surprised if it were, but we'll see. System survey complete. Okay. okay. So at this point, uh, our overlord's ability to expand through us is... Um, okay, yeah, so it connects out. Uh, is, is stopped. Are we, we still like we're we're in the danger zone with influence where they could come and and uh, try to alter our contract and we wouldn't be able to do anything about System it. System survey complete. Um, I just said I didn't want him surveying uh, habitables, but here we go. Um, so at this point we get we have a lock on three. It's a pity you got that one. That would have been nice, but. Um, Okay, so I think we want to switch him back here and poke down this way. Uh, that's 
so that's the next spell. Um, our raw resource situation is okay. We could always use more alloys. We're gonna need more minerals. What do we want to do with this world? Uh, this world, 18. I mean, we just have, we have this right here. I haven't surveyed it. I don't know what the districts are yet. 25, though, it, we're probably going to want a forge world there. Um, and we could use this one for, like, rural, I guess, for now? Mining or rural or something like that. Um, kind of tempted to do, like... Well, okay, so I don't want to expand, or, or when the, uh, the the next tradition comes up, then we can start turning alloys into um, solar panels. So maybe I just do just build more alloy production at this point. And then we'll build minerals here. We'll do mining there. Okay, so we got a survey here. Uh, that's a pretty, oh, oh, interesting. So we have a, huh. Two science bonuses and good minerals and good energy and a huge world. What a planet, what a planet. Um, hmm. Well, we'll definitely want to take it, but... Oh, wait, I sh you should be, uh, building mining stations. Communications alert. Okay, we could decline the offer. What do they, um... They want to turn us into not a uh, bulwark. I don't know that we want that. Um, I like subsidies, which is probably why they don't want to give us subsidies. Can we like counter propose? I mean, it's I don't have. <laughs> uh, this is this is kind of a lucky break, to be honest. I expected like a you know here you need two hundred influence to decline. Um, uh, we can close this, and the pop up will still be there, I think. Um, what what could we do with sixty influence? <laughs> Pity. And they would accept, too. Um. Okay, yeah, why does it say we can't trade sensor link with them when we're not on unified sensors? That's really weird. I don't play vassals very often. It doesn't happen that much. Um. But, uh, yeah, I... Oh, and there's star-based upgrade cost and speed. Yeah, no, I think we want to stay uh, and um, a bulwark. No, thank you. It was expensive, but. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Can I trade, um... How are they getting ahead? Oh no! Huh. So I can't trade sensor links with him either. I wonder if trading sensor link is like just busted now. 
because I'm pretty sure I don't have full sensor link with them. This is one neat thing about playing Gestalts, though, is that you get these techs that normal empires don't get, so they want research agreements with you. Um, sometimes you can even get them, yeah, with... Oh, no, interesting. Huh. You used to be you could get research agreements, like, with your overlord in a, um... Imperial fiefdom setup. I did it as a rogue servitor. I wonder if they have something else that uh, regular machines don't get that regular organics also don't get. Okay, so there's our first tech out. Wow, that took a long time. Um, I mean, we that that's this is a weird pairing, right? Because research speed is the bonus here, and researcher upkeep is applied way down in there. But I mean, yeah, we kind of we could use something like that. I wonder, maybe I. Hmm. I'm I'm wondering how hard they are building labs. If they're still building labs like the way that they used to, where you'd see like three or four labs in the first 10 years and I'm only on two. But that shouldn't, but like, how? Okay, so these guys aren't ahead of me at all. How are these guys, are they the other ones? Um... Was these ones. Yeah, overwhelming. That's that's really puzzling. I wonder what's up there. I mean, for a quarter of a point of influence. I know I need to be banking influence to st stave off further... Uh, attempts to change the vassal contract, but, um... That's a lot, and I do want to be building trust with them. I don't know if these techs are any good, though. And there's no way to find out, right? That's that's kind of the one, one frustrating thing about this. Um, who was it? There was somebody else who was... It. So they're 90 techs ahead of us. And these other guys were like 45 techs ahead of us. That's crazy. There's no way they researched 45 techs in seven years. Something else is up here. And I don't know what it is. Um, but I guess we'll take advantage of it. Huh. Okay, yeah, well, it, it, plus, whoa, research agreements are 25%? I thought they were like 10%. I mean, yeah, we'll, we need it. I wonder what it is that we have that they don't. Uh, moats, okay. Uh, we have some, we have alloys, but not influence, which means we need fleet. I don't want to build more destroyers. Um, I don't... I hear missiles are the way to go now on early corvettes. I'm not planning to do early war, so it doesn't... But you know, sometimes you meet purifiers.
where's the re huh I don't have the option okay and there's the reinforce oh so this wraps all the way around um where's the exit is there an exit I guess this is an exit. Construction complete. But that could mean that, like, if we get, you know, these two, this has to link back out. There's no way. Um, there is a Overlord science ship realizing that they can no longer System jump. System survey complete. Um. Okay. Let's... Hmm. I thought Trappist was supposed to have three planets. Odd. Until low. Until, okay, so that's just I've I've been there, but I haven't surveyed it yet. I'll be on a time. Okay, so we're getting very close to an hour. Um, which way is quicker to get to like this choke? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's six to one, half dozen to the other, and this route has several habitables on it. Um, we can go this way. And this also puts us on, on this choke point as well. But it, we do need to like figure out what the deal is down here, whether this either of these um, actually open up. This one. Oh, that's a very good, that's a nice little raw resource world. Um, so we will want that. No, no, nothing weird on it, unless there's a... Okay, and the anomaly is not on the habitable. Yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, another another habitable there. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, so now we can get carrier star bases. Um, zero G versus servo motors is on the critical path to uh, synthetic ascension. Um, this one is not the mining tech that gives us access to. mineral purification plants so we will hold off on that one yeah i think we do uh, we, we, we will want star holds and i do worry that if they manage to make us no longer a uh bulwark that we will lose access to this if we don't research it sooner than later but stuff is taking so long to research that uh yeah you know six a 6k tech would take a really long time um it's tempting to do like city district into yeah either labs or uh, unity or energy grid or something like that. I'm this is this is really promising. If this is actually cut off and all we need to do is take this, that would be kind of amazing. Not that you know we're in an influencing situation to do that, but. Um, Okay, so there's that. Uh, so now we could start upgrading some star bases. Or I mean, we could we could do it cheap, right? And what with with the bulwark bonus? What is it? Huh. I'm not getting the um. I thought bulwarks got a uh, cost reduction. Star base upgrade cost minus twenty. Overlord modifier. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we will. We'll still do that 
and put some solar panels. Ship augmentations completed. On there. Yeah, I'm torn whether to grab this next or start pushing this way, because it's going to take a while. But it's such a good planet. Let's 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 see what he sees here. If that does open up, I don't think it does. System survey complete. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, this is kind of an amazing cluster structure if we can actually take advantage of it, if we can put together enough influence and alloys to actually block all of this off, um, then th yeah, that would be kind of kind of wild. Um, but we're, we are at right at an hour. Um, the, the central idea that we're aiming for here of doing uh, subterfuge to steel tax is still still a ways out. At least our infiltration is decaying pretty slowly. Um, we'll see. Well, yeah, we, there's there's the distinct possibility that I have uh, picked a bad thing to specialize in, and I'll just get punished for it. But with a s cluster structure like this, I think we may be able to make up for it. So, thank you for watching.